Welcome back to the channel. So I was compiling a 4K movie in iMovie and the file size was about 10 minutes long. And I thought, let me have a look at my memory used. And I was quite shocked to find that it was almost seven gigabytes of memory used out of the eight gigabytes with a swap file being used. Now I couldn't actually notice a difference in performance. However, what I did notice was that the computer was it reacted a bit slowly in certain cases because i had this big file in the background so some of the pages that i had loaded in safari they wanted me to reload which is something i hadn't seen since um pretty much the ipad days before ipad os 14. um so this was a bit uh annoying to be honest um i mean to be honest when i'm compiling stuff i normally leave my macbook alone but i mean you know look it's it's gone above seven gigabytes and there is a swap file being used. So I thought, you know what, let me just turn it off and um, you know, just cross it off, I'll com compile it later on. So I did that. Now watch what happens. Okay, so I've only got a few tabs left open in Safari and it's gone down to 6.55 and it refuses to let go off the cached files. And the swap is still being used, even though it's being used ever so slightly. Okay. Um, but yeah, I can kind of see the argument for 16 gigabytes, particularly if you've got more um, larger 4K files to compile. For now, for my needs, for what I've got, 8 gigabytes is absolutely fine. Let us know what you think in the comments below. Uh, like and subscribe. And thank you.